Hi, this is Max here. I'm out here in high tunnel number three, the third high tunnel we built. We built this high tunnel last fall on here. If, as you look in here, there's nothing in this high tunnel yet. Today I'll be planting tomatoes in here. Last night outside, it was eight degrees last night. Um, in my other high tunnels, the vegetables did just fine. We put a little um, cover over them. We have wells of water and, and they work perfect down to that eight degrees Fahrenheit. Today I just want to quickly tell you about a, a product that we use to amend the soil and it's expanded perlite. This perlite is made right here in, in the thriving metropolis of Malad, Idaho. It's made by Hess Pumice. These are fine folks down there that manufacture this and other um, pumice products. Now perlite, I put a little bit here on the ground to show you. Perlite is just a, it's, it's a light fluffy material that's made from pumice on here. And what they do is they take pumice, they heat it up, and the pumice expands similar to how a, a popcorn popping. Now there's, this is what's called grade M190 perlite. Um, these are just have little finer type granules of the perlite. If you, if you want bigger granules, there's a grade M130 you can get. But there's three properties I really like about this perlite. The first property is that this is that this perlite has it's it's porous, so it absorbs water. It absorbs water and it creates little air pockets in your soil. And remember, your soil needs about 40% air on in there and 60% and solids. You need to have that air in the soil in order for aerobic bacteria to form. And that aerobic bacteria is the good bacteria. The, the roots need oxygen and whatnot also to, to survive and live. And so this provides that air. The second quality of perlite that I like is that it retains water. So as you, I'll show a little bit later on how I put this, mix this into some of the soil here. This soil does not have any perlite in it or it has very little perlite in it. Then with the soil and the plant as you're planting it, then it will hold, it'll absorb quite a bit of water and hold it. So it'll, it'll hold it <clears throat> so the soil doesn't run off. It'll hold it so that the soil doesn't leach through the water quickly doesn't leach through the soil, it stays there and slowly releases it. The, the third thing that I really like about this, and I think is one of the, the best qualities that this perlite has, is this allows root hairs to grow inside of this, these little granules of perlite. And remember the, the root hairs are what uptake the nutrients into the plant. The, the nutrients go in ion formation, in ion form, and they get taken up by the root hairs. So when we plant plants a lot of times and you have to go pull the plant out or you pull a weed out next to the plant, those roots are just almost frosted. They look frosted like a Christmas tree with this perlite on there. And, and that shows that gives you a nice, healthy plant, healthy root system that's able to take up the nutrients. And when you're able, when the plant's able to take up the nutrients it needs, it has a healthier plant and it has a lot more flavor associated with the, with the plant itself. So those are three reasons why I like to use perlite. Okay, as you can see here, I got my tomatoes holes dug and I got these holes filled full of perlite and full of water. So the perlite's dry, so you need to make sure it's nice and wet before you plant your tomatoes in here. So right now, I'll go ahead and plant the tomatoes, but as you can see, I use quite a bit of perlite in here. I want this mixed in with the soil and, and to have this soil really saturated with the perlite in order to help with those three principles we talked about, with aerating the soil, with the water that's in the soil <clears throat> and with the root hairs being able to grow into the perlite and bring up the nutrients. But I like using these handy little um, four cubic foot bags and they are they are fairly lightweight to, to haul around. You can just pick that up with one hand. See if you look at this I can just 
lift this up with one hand, no problem. Now, you know, granted, I'm pretty strong, but, you know, it's still pretty light. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.